So today we're going to be solving problems that ask how many times bigger is one number than the other? But we're going to be dealing with really big and really small numbers. Okay? So before we get into these complicated ones, let's do a simple example where I say, how many times bigger is 15 compared to 5? See, with these simple numbers, it's really easy to say, oh, I know, 15 is 3 times bigger than 5, because 5 times 3 is 15. Okay? But think to yourself, what would you actually do with these numbers to get that 3? Well, 15 divided by 5 gets me my 3, and that's how we know how many times bigger it is. So we simply divide these numbers, and that's what we're going to do with these problems. The only difference is these numbers are a little more complex than 15 and 5. Okay? So let's go into them. Here we go. How many times bigger is 8 times 10 to the 14th power compared to 4 times 10 to the 9th power? So just like the 15 and 5 example, what we're going to do here is we're going to divide these to see how many times bigger it is. So let's do that. We're going to take the bigger number, 8 times 10 to the 14th power, and we're going to divide it by the smaller number, which is 4 times 10 to the 9th power. Okay? And it looks a little complicated, but dividing these doesn't have to be. Okay, Start by dividing the regular numbers. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times. Now let's divide our powers. Now we have to divide the powers using power rules. The power rules say when you divide powers with the same base, you keep the base. And we subtract the exponents. 14 minus 9, 5. So this is really 2 times 10 to the 5th power which if you know how to multiply by tens, it simply means move that decimal point over five places to the right. So if we start with 2.0, move it over one, two, three, four, five places over, fill those empty spots with zeros, and look what we have. This is 200,000. So it's 200,000 times bigger, this number, compared to that one, all right? Now let's do a harder one, okay? Because this also works with really small numbers. In this case, numbers multiplied by 10 to a negative power. How many times bigger is nine times 10 to the negative second power compared to three times 10 to the negative fifth power? Let's find out. So we'll take that nine times 10 to the negative second power divided by three times 10 to the negative fifth power. Now, at first you might think, well, this one must be bigger because look at that power of 10 is a 5 instead of 2. But remember, these are negative exponents. That means it's basically dividing by 10 five times. And this one's only dividing by 10 twice. So this one's actually a bigger number. But let's go through this. All right, so let's divide our regular numbers. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times. Now when we divide our powers, we keep the base the same and we subtract the exponents. Now be careful here. Negative two minus negative five. If you're not careful, you might think that's negative seven, you might think it's negative three. It's actually positive three, because when you subtract a negative, it's the same thing as adding a positive, okay? So we really get three times 10 to the third power, which, again, when you multiply by tens, you're just moving the decimal point over, in this case, three times. So 3.0 becomes 1, 2, 3. And the, fill these in with zeros. This becomes 3,000. So that tells you this number is 3,000 times bigger than this one. See, so it's not too bad, right? Let's do a slightly harder one now. Here we go. About how many times bigger is 58,281,303 compared to 318,450. So this one's a little harder. Notice, these aren't simple numbers where it's written in this nice, neat format where we can do this little, you know, this easy math work and get an answer. These are some pretty complicated numbers. And I mean, I could use a calculator to get this. Uh, let's see what the calculator says. 58,281,303 divided by 318,450. 183.015, okay, so that's pretty complicated. But it turns out, because it says about, we can estimate this and get pretty darn close. And here's how we're gonna do it. Remember how in the previous problems, we had a single digit times the power of 10? 
let's make these two numbers single digits times a power of 10. In other words, let's estimate these. Approximate them, if you will. So 58 million, if I'm going to round this, and I do have a video on approximating numbers to a single digit times a power of 10, I'll put the link down below. But if I'm going to round this and estimate it to the greatest place value, I'm going to round that 5. And because the next digit after that's a big number, I'm going to round this up to a 6. So 58 million becomes 60 million, which makes sense, right? 58 million is about 60 million. It's a little bit, that's a little bit big, but I mean, it's pretty close. So we're just rounding it. And we'll do the same to this side over here too, this number, 318,450. So we'll round it to the greatest place value, which is the 3. The digit after the 3 is a small number, so we'll just keep the 3 the same. And then we'll zero out everything else. So 318,450 is approximately 300,000, okay? And just like before, it was nice to have a single digit times the power of 10. So let's do that for these two also, okay? 60,000 is really 6 times 10 to some power. Let's see. If I want to make this in this format, a 6 would have the decimal point there. But of course, we have 60 million, so we want the decimal over there. So we've got to move that decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So that tells me we need to multiply it times 10 to the 7th power because we're moving that decimal point over 7 times. All right. And similarly, 300,000 would be 3 times 10 to some power. But what power? Well, if it was 3, like I wrote here, I'd put the decimal there. But we have 300,000, so the decimal is actually over there. So we need to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. Or in other words, multiply it by 10 to the 5th power. And again, if you're having trouble doing these, I'll put a link to the video on how to do these um, down below. All right. But now that I have my two numbers in an estimated approximation and in that single digit times the power of 10 format, now we could just do the division like we did before, okay? 6 times 10 to the 7th power divided by 3 times 10 to the 5th power. All right, let's do this. Divide the regular numbers. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times, now let's divide the powers. 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 5th. Rule for dividing powers, we keep the base, subtract the exponents, 7 minus 5, 2. So we really have 2 times 10 to the second power, which is 2 times 10 times 10, which is 200. So what that tells us is this original number, 58,281,303, is about 200 times bigger than 318,450. And if you recall on the calculator when we did it before, the exact answer came out to 183, which is not that far away from 200. So our approximation is pretty close and we did all this without a calculator okay so being able to approximate how many times bigger one number is than the other not that hard when we use this technique of a single digit times the power of 10. so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please hit that like button also subscribe because it really helps us out but with that being said good luck on your math and i will see you next time